healthy people i'm back with another video and i have another dollar tree haul for you all this time when i was in dollar tree i wanted to kind of focus on getting some body care items i have featured some um, dollar tree empties in the past and i actually have another video coming up here soon so if it's not already up i'll link it and if not it'll be coming here in the near future but um yeah i have tested and tried some of the dollar tree products before and the ones that i do like i do purchase on a regular basis and yeah i just want to show you all some new goodies that i found and if there's something that's of interest to you definitely check it out i have this bag of goodies right here i'm going to go through and just show you all what i purchased again a lot of it is just body care so let's hop right on into this video whoops all right so i have a couple of things falling out of the bag here so i'll just start with that um so i did pick up some um uh, bath soap and it's from the bolero brand if you all are unfamiliar with that at dollar tree this is kind of like their you know kind of higher end or it's supposed to be their fancy brand or whatever i'll be honest most of their products are a miss only like one or two are a hit but um i still like to try it out anyway i've not tried any of their bath soaps so this one is argon and shea butter i'm gonna actually open it up here to see what it smells like The scent is very faint. You really can't even smell it, but it's just a, a big bar of plain soap. Yeah, you can't really smell anything. So I'll be interested to see what the lather, lather is like. Um, I'm trying to see if they had any body, body washes from Valero that I tried. I've not tried any body washes, but I tried a few um, hand soaps and I wasn't that impressed with them. They were a bit too liquidy for me and the suds didn't go that well. So I'll be interested to see how this works. It says it's pure bath soap. It says it's 100% vegetable based formula enriched with nourishing essential oils, suitable for all skin types to leave soft and clean. So yeah, it's uh, six ounces. So we'll see how this works. I did pick up a few of them. Cause like I said, I just wanted to try them out. So I got that scent. I also picked up, so I actually got two of those. I think because it had the shea butter in it is what got me interested. Um, I also picked up a cocoa mint and mango. This is supposed to be hydrating. Okay. And then I also picked up apple and cinnamon. And this is supposed to be rejuvenating. Oh, this one's bigger. This one says it's seven ounces. And the other two says six ounces. Let me open this one up and smell it. I feel like this one should have a good smell to it. You know, cinnamon is very potent. Mm, again, everything's very subtle with these bar soaps. So let's hope the lather is a lot. Oops, let's hope the leather lather is a lot better than the scent because the scent is very weak. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I picked up four of those bath soaps. So I'll let you all know how that works out. Okay, I do have a body wash here. That's exciting. I don't know that I've tried body washes from them before. Like I said, I feel like if I did, I didn't really like it. Um, but this body wash is a lemon, lemon verbena, and mint. So that's what this looks like: lemon verbena and mint. And um let me smell it here it's a nice scent and it's again it's very faint very light but it just smells like a, a light um i can't even really smell the mint in here yeah it just smells like a really light mint scent so yeah this is what it looks like the packaging is really nice though um it kind of looks like a luxe packaging or whatnot um it says rejuvenating and one of the things that <laughs> So yeah, the first ingredients I see on here is water. So that lets me know that it's kind of watered down. Um, yeah. So one of the things that I do when I'm looking for like body washes and hand soaps and things like that from Dollar Tree is I like to turn the item upside down. And depending on how fast that bubble travels to the opposite end of the container, that kind of lets me know if it's going to be watery or not. And on this one, you can see the bubble here. It goes super fast. So that lets me know it's not going to be that great. Um, nine times out of ten, if I have an item that's too watery for me to use on my body, I'll just uh, use it as hand soap. So that's how I've gotten through some of my other Dollar Tree body washes that I got that I really didn't like. Um, just put them in a hand soap container. You know, you wash your hands all day every day, so you'll get through it a lot quicker that way. And that way you're not wasting products and wasting your money. So yeah, here's a body wash. I like to use it as a hand soap. Um, but yeah, um, I'll try it out as a body wash first. And then I also got, um, yeah, the matching bath soak and it says it's aromatherapy. So I've actually never tried any of these bath soaks from Bolero. I'll be excited to try this out and see if it's any good. Okay. Now this has a good scent to it. Yeah. You can really smell the lemon and the mint. 
it smells very it smells like a um a fresh lemon i like this okay so i hope that the scent is just as good in the actual bath so yeah i'll be excited to use this and i absolutely love the container that it comes in that's really pretty i got a matching body oil to that scent lemon verbena and mint um i have used one of these before i think this particular scent and i loved it um in general you all these body oils from dollar tree are really really good um i have gone through at least like 10 of them to be honest with you and i really enjoy them um i would say that these probably last me about a week and a half to two weeks if i'm using it every day consistently but i like to open up a, a few different ones at once and just kind of rotate the different type of scents that i'm using with these body oils the scents on them are nice they do last and they do they do leave your body feeling really moisturized I use them in two different ways. One way I use it is if I'm being lazy when I get out the shower and don't feel like putting on lotion and such. Um, uh, while my body is still somewhat damp, I'll just put this um, oil on my body and it keeps it nice and hydrated throughout the day. And the other way I use it is I top off my body creams or body lotions with the body oil to kind of seal in the moisture and keep my skin feeling hydrated even longer so yeah i really enjoy these body oils if you all haven't tried them out at dollar tree you should definitely check them out they're really good but again this is what the packaging looks like it's really nice the only thing the other thing i don't like about these uh, which i think they've since changed is that on the actual bottle itself like once you take it out you don't know what scent you're using so you'll have to kind of open it up and smell it but i think on some of their newer body oils um they actually have like a little sticker where they write the scent on there um i think all of these are some of the older ones but i have a few that are new that's like lavender scented. I didn't re mention them in a the haul or anything because I just wanted to use them. Um, but they actually have little stickers that have like the name of the name of the scent on there, which is like really helpful. So yeah, I got the lemon verbena and mint one. I also picked up the argan and shea butter one. I have the cocoa and coconut and mango. I have the vanilla cream. That's a nice everyday scent. And I have another coconut and mango. I'm sure this would be really good for the summertime. And I have another cocoa and mango. Coconut and mango. Yeah. So all oh, these kind of match my nails. How cute. So yeah, in general, I really do enjoy these uh, body oils a lot. And anytime I see them at Dollar Tree, I normally grab like one or two of them. I know that I'm going to use them. Um, the other thing I like about this product is that I actually, uh, I repurposed the bottles. So because it's a really nice spray bottle, I actually repurposed these bottles um, and I use them to put different other type of oils that I'm using in here. Um, so I have a couple of oils from Bath and Body Works that I don't like the containers that they come out of. So I literally would just put them in one of these small um, spray containers and just use it that way. Um, sometimes I'll uh, wash it out to get all that oil out. And then I'll put some of my perfumes in it for travel. I mean, like I said, it's a one ounce container, a one ounce spray bottle. So they're perfect for travel and things like that. So I actually repurposed these after I'm done using them and I really enjoyed them a lot. So yeah, I got a butt ton of these. I only have two more items to talk about. Um, one is a hair product and it is uh, the Shea Butter and Edge Gel by Lusty. Um, in general, I don't like this line from Dollar Tree. I tried um, their detangler, didn't work well for me. And I think they had like a leave-in oil or something like that, like a, a hair oil or something, hair lotion or something like that. And I didn't really care for that. But the edge, the edge gel is actually pretty good. So I'm not one that really lays my edges, to be honest with you. I, I like my edges to be free and you know i like my edges to be free i don't really care if they're like laid and slicked down with the baby hairs that look like musical notes i don't do all of that don't care for the look i like just to kind of be more natural with things and so um and no shade to anybody who does do you boo boo do you i actually really like this one because it's a it's a very soft hold so um if i'm going somewhere where i want to like do like a photo shoot or something like that that's really the only time where i'll like lay my edges or something like that but even then i don't always do it um but every so often i just feel like doing it and so i'll just kind of like put this edge control down and kind of slick my edges back a little bit it doesn't hold my edges for a very long time um typically it's only about like maybe 30 minutes to an hour um that i'll get out of this but it also depends on what i'm doing right so um i live down south and it's very hot 
And so if I walk outside and I sweat, this stuff sweats right out. I do have other edge uh, control that, you know, will withstand the heat. Um, but this one doesn't do too good at it, but I also like just a short term thing, right? I don't need it to be super long lasting and stick to my skin. So I actually really like this. Um, I'm just about done with the different one that I'm using. I had got two of them. The other one I've been using for a while, but I just wanted to stock up on this again because for a book, a nice soft hold, I'm not mad at it. So I got that. And then the last item I picked up is um, a perfume actually. I'm not sure if you all are familiar with the EAD brand from uh, Dollar Tree, but they have like, um, you know, different impressions of uh, luxury perfumes. And this is one, it is Chance by Chanel. I've been wanting to try this scent for a really long time, but I've just not been wanting to dish out the money for it. It's kind of on the pricey side. And one thing I really enjoy doing is just going to Dollar Tree, getting a lot of these like little impressions and you know, just seeing what the scent might smell like. I will be honest with you all, I have a lot of these impression perfumes and then I have a lot of the actual real perfumes and they are really good ideas of what these uh, scents will smell like. Um, let me know if you all want me to do a video on that. I have a few scents where I bought the one from Dollar Tree, liked it so much, bought the real one and it smells just alike. So yeah, um, I highly, highly recommend giving that a try if you're into buying perfumes and you don't want to spend out the money for it. So again, this is a Vivid Lady and this is the impression of Chanel. Let me give this a spray. Hmm. This does smell like what I remember Chanel Chance smelling like. So I tried Chanel Chance when I was in Europe. It smells really good. Wow. Yeah, I smelled Chanel Chance when I was in Europe and I actually fell in love with it. And I actually, I wanted to purchase it when I got back and then I went to the store and it just didn't smell like what I remembered it smelling like. And I'm, no, I'm knowing now, I'm discovering now that Chanel has like a lot of different flankers of Chance. And so I have to figure out which one this is because it's so good. I know the Chanel Chance that I had over there was like, it was like a deep gold color. I think they changed the formula though, but um, I actually really, really like this scent a lot. And if I go through this, which I know I will, um, I might look at trying to purchase the real one because I really do enjoy this scent a lot. And I remember it being long lasting as well. But anywho, these perfumes in general, I don't really wear them out because they don't last that long at all. They probably last like an hour and then you notice the scent isn't, any, isn't on you anymore. However, um, the nice thing about these is I wear them to bed, right? I'm the type of person I like to spray perfume on my body before I go to sleep. And so, yeah, I spray these before I go to bed. I don't feel bad about wasting it. It was only a dollar and you get 2.5 fluid ounces. So, yeah, check out these perfumes from Dollar Tree if you haven't already. They come in these little boxes here. And, yeah, they're really good impressions of the real deal. That is all I have for you all. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Let me know if you all found some body care items or hygiene items at Dollar Tree that you like and would recommend. I wouldn't mind trying them out, testing them for you all. Or if you saw anything there that you want me to try out, let me know. I wouldn't mind going and trying it out if I could find it at my local Dollar Tree and give you all my thoughts on it because yeah, I always like to save a buck or two. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around and enjoy the happy family. And as always, leave me some love in the comments down below, and I will see you all in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!